Welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. We're continuing on with our sheet mission and trying to find this freaking extreme picture man over here. So let's get into it. If you guys like this video or this series, then please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I see some wolves. I bet money this, this photographer is going to be like surrounded by wolves or something and I have to go save him. Oh, there goes from the sheep. Here we go. It looks like this one didn't stray too far from the settlement. Yeah. I believe this is the third sheep. Seems so. Let's keep searching. Let's get going. Oh, we made it all the way to where that giant statue is. It looks even more massive the closer we get. To get right in front of it, we'll need to go around the cliff. That's a big bird. Yeah. Uh, of course, you gotta be right next to a big monster. What's wrong? Uh. There it is. It appears to be safe. That's a relief. That's four sheep now. Yep, just one more to go. Let's get going. Now where is this last one at? It's playing with some monkeys. Over there. Wait. Is that three of them? And all together? No, those are monsters. <laughs> They're like, stay away from our friend. Bring it on. Here we go. I'm feeling like fire is gonna do a lot here. Yep, knew it. Let's go. Dang, put me to sleep. See, it did wonders. Don't put me to sleep. Ah, oh, come on. Right. Fire. All right, let's keep on moving. Whew, that was unexpected. It really was. All right, that should be all of them now. Good, good. We should let Waturi know that we found all of them. Are we gonna- Yes, thank you for telling porting us back! And there we go! All fixed up. Everything should be fine now, I hope. Yeah, they won't be able to get out again. Thanks for tracking them all down. I'm sure they're relieved to be back with their buddies. Hee <laughs> hee, it certainly looks that way. I'm amazed by how well guys led them back here. Likewise, it wouldn't have been nearly a simple task for the rest of us. Haha, <laughs> it's just a matter of experience. Either way, the sheep are now safe. So here, take this part, thanks. Fresh milk. Oh, mature cheese. Did these come from the sheep? Yup. It's good stuff, so eat up whenever you're feeling hungry. Thank you very much. So that's done. 
Let's go and heal up right quick before we head on back down there for the final mission. Oh, sorry, wrong tent. I kind of wish it would just teleport us right back to where we needed to be, but no. Oh my god, I went on this hill for nothing, didn't I? Oh my god, now I gotta make this long horse ride up to the freaking place where I need to be at. <sighs> well, this is all gonna take a minute, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Yeah. Alright, we're here, ladies and gentlemen. Impressive. I was taken up by the size of the stone circle in the southern highlands, but this is a whole different level. What brings you all out here? Come to get a good look at the statue, too? Oh, do you think he's... Are you Norton by any chance? Yeah, that's me. Have we met before? Do you have some business with me? Phew, we finally found you! We should bring him up to speed. Hmm, sounds like I've caused some unnecessary work for the people of the settlement. We should get back right away, or rather I'd like to, but I still haven't finished taking all the photographs I need. Would you mind waiting a bit longer while I finish up? Well, I can't really fault you for being fascinated. It really is impressive. I doubt there's anything like this anywhere else on the continent. Actually, it might surprise you to know that there is. This isn't the only such statue I'm aware of. There's a similar statue on Barona Island, way out to the west. Wait, Barona Island? Isn't that where Group B was sent? Huh. I had no idea there was more of these around. No one knows any more about the statue of Barana Island than they do about this one. But I'm currently taking pictures of the ruins ancient sites like this. Taking photographs of this area was the reason I came to North Highlands in the first place. Gaius told us that the people of the North refers to this statue as a guardian of the region. Yeah, the old legend says that this statue was was here long before our ancestors came from the east, and that they settled in this land only with its permission. Hmm. When I saw it, I was immediately reminded of the legend of the great king. A uh, great knight, my bad. You know, now that you mention it, I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. No doubt. The tale originated during the Dark Ages and spread throughout the empire. When the land Royals with the tide of the war, a colossal knight wedded in flame will come forth to quell the conflict. That's the g general gist of it, anyway. What do you mean by that? Well, each region has its own variant of the tale. They all maintain a knight as a certain figure, but like all such tales, its veracity is questionable at best. Though it's certainly one of the most mysterious legends passed down in the Empire. I see. It does seem like the statue could match with that story, too. I wonder if there's related to now. Uh oh, someone's wrong with Reen. What, what was that? Are you okay? I'll be fine. None to worry about. Dude, you literally just had like a mini heart attack. Emma's like, you're not fine. 
Emma, what is on your mind? I want to know. And guys, don't think I forgot about you. You wanted to say something too earlier before when we had to watch that, but you didn't want to say anything either. So, what? Speak up. Tell me. Anyway, I've all c come all the way out here. So would you mind waiting until I'm done photographing the site? I promise I'll have it to send with you as, long, as, long, as soon as I'm done. I cannot read today. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the wildfire has wildlife has much of an interest in the area. You should be safe here on his own, even if we head out somewhere else for a while. Agreed. Guiding what investors son will cause the story to advance. Go do something else. Wait here wait here from Norton to finish. Just let's hurry up and do this. Alright, we'll stay here until you finished up. Okay, I'll try not to keep you waiting too long. Reed and the others waited for Norton to finish his photography, and though he was willing to leave even after depleting his f photo courts, they finally returned to the settlement. Whew! We're finally back at the settlement! Thanks a million for scaring me back here. I really appreciate it. Thanks to you, I was able to photograph the statue to my heart's desire. I'm just glad you made it back safe and sound. Yeah, I was really expecting him to be surrounded by wolves or something. Yeah, let's go tell the other. Hmm, there seems to be quite a commotion over there. What? That's... What's happening? Oh, someone crashed their car. It looks like there's been an horrible car accident. But why here? Isn't that the gem we fulfilled a crush for this morning? Like, yeah, like, there's so much wide open space. It's like, how do you crash your car here? Like, how is that possible? You would literally have to just ram into it. Like, literally, just dead on with the intention of ramming into it for you to hit anything. As for they're like, wait, how is that possible here? The very same. That's the son of this doctor, Amir. He couldn't have been the one responsible, could he? Never mind that. We need to go and take a closer look. Emma, are you hurt? Guys, I'm alright. Sorry for worrying you. What happened here? I was on my way back from gathering herbs in the mountain forest to the north when all of a sudden I just lost control of the vehicle. Was anyone injured? I suffered a few bumps and bruises, but other than that, fortunately not. I'm just relieved that I didn't end up hurting anyone. I'm glad you to know your injuries are light, Amir. Thanks by the winds and the goddess. Still, how does one lose control of a vehicle in an area in its open as free as obstructions as this? Did you simply lose your concentration for a moment? No, of course not. This car is extremely important to, to all of us here. I couldn't dream of driving it carelessly. I'm still not sure what caused it. When I was nearing the summit, the steering wheel started to feel oddly stiff. Fortunately, the brakes were still functional. Otherwise, I dread to think what might have happened. Hmm, I see. Alyssa? <coughs> Let's see. Alyssa, do you think you can work out what went wrong? Probably. You might say it runs in the family. Aha! How could I forget? It stands to reason that the siphon of the ring. Rainford Corp would be quite handy in mechanical matters. Even if she does pretend she wants nothing to do with her family anymore. C could you mind your own business? What you say, though, it's not as true as it used to be. They have some professional engineers at the Rainford Company now who can't even perform basic maintenance work. Wow, standards are in hiring suit must be slipping. When you compare it to the Zen Central Factory and Liberal, Rainford Group is getting far too big for its own good. All those giant vertical construction divisions, each with their own subdivisions. It sounds as though become the Empire's large corporation brought its own share of new issues. Oh, new issues. And this uses dang. So, ha have you managed to figure out what the problem was? Hmm, I think so. It looks like there was a contact fire in the court circus near the engine. That's probably why you suddenly had difficulty steering even though it was fine just before. Uh, I see. Do you think you can repair it? Hmm, I doubt it. I can diagnose, but I'm no technician. I think we'll need to call in a professional to fix it. I suppose that means we'll have to ask someone from Syndicate. Oh, I have to go way over there again? 
Haha, <laughs> I'm impressed. I can see that Thor's military academy has more, more to be proud of than its famous founder. Elder Ivan, Dad! I'm sorry it took us so long to get here. I'm relieved to say that Nord made it back safely. Thank you for assistance. Oh, no trouble at all. It sounds like you've been able to work out the cause of the problem here. That was all thanks to Alyssa. <laughs> it was nothing, really. Hmm. There is no shame in being proud of your accomplishments. Hmm. Well, I'm glad that we've gotten this squared away. We still have something of a problem. Like, yeah, how to get a mechanic. What do you mean? This is the summit's only vehicle. Having it out of commission is going to make things pretty inconvenient around here. The sooner we get it fixed, the better. I see. In the case, is there anything we can do to help? Hmm? Are you sure? This isn't part of your field study, you know. I would respectfully disagree. <laughs> You've treated us with such great fear and shown us such hospitality. I would I want to do what I can to help. But actually repairing the truck is a bit above my skill level. Still, it would be discourteous for us not to at least make an attempt to assist our hosts. Thanks, everyone. Haha, <laughs> if you insist, we'd be more than grateful for any assistance you can provide. If you can bring out someone who could do the repairs, that would be great. That sounds like the best course of action. Should we head to Zarin Gate and see if they spare a mechanic? Actually, I have someone else in mind. Someone far more keen than any armed generation for things of this sort. Up near Lake Lakirma in the Northern Highlands lives an elderly man from the Empire. I'm sure he'll be able to fix the truck for us if we ask him. True, the hermit could probably have this fixed in no time at all. A, a hermit? You say? Yeah, he moved here from the Empire a couple years ago. He's been truly good to all of us since he's been here. An old man from the Empire who's more wrong than any army technician? It couldn't be. Oh god, who is this? <gasps> oh my god, is this her dad maybe? Oh my god, if it is, I'm like, uh, I'm like, Alyssa, what's wrong with your family? <laughs> Or maybe an uncle. I'm gonna, I'm strongly leaning toward her dad on this. Alyssa? So you want us to go and call this man for you then? If you'd be so kind. There's no hurry though. If you have other things you need to do, by all means do those first. Either way, we'll need to clean up the site of the accident before anything happens. Just handle it as you might if you were part of your field study. Will do. Okay, everyone, let's finish up anything we have left to do and head for the cabin at the lake. Lake Lakerma is in the northern highlands. We'll need to head north to the garden statue, then due west from there. We should set out on horseback at once. She's like, I don't want to go now. <laughs> yeah, she, she has a good guess on who it is. Okay, so it was going the right way. I was like, wait a minute. Again, a, a very, very, very long horse ride is commencing. And I will see you guys when, uh, when I get there. Okay, so we're finally at the lake. This beautiful lake where this hermit should be living. And he better be here, because I will be very upset if he's not, and he's somewhere else, and I have to go ahead and ride out into the sunset again. Wow, this lake is beautiful. It really is. You can see the sunlight glimmering on the water. And the air feels so clean, too. This is Lake Lokirma. The hermit lives in that cabin over there. Wow, he's got a nice little spot. Excellent. We should go see him at once. She's like, uh, please don't let it be who I think it is. That's what her face is right now. How beautiful. Yeah, breathtaking.
I'd love to get in a little fishing here. Well, no one's stopping you. Really? Because you were for like a good minute. Wait, I can actually get inside the boat? Okay. I thought it was going to let me get inside the boat. I was like, whoa. I can go into the lake. Excuse me, but I had to take that little fishing break. Who knows when I'll be back here again. So where are you? Seems like there's someone inside. I suppose it must be the man we came to see then. Yeah, I'll bet he just came back from fishing. Hmm. For a hermit, he doesn't seem to want for much. So, what are we gonna do? After entering the cabin, the time of day will advance to evening, and all days field study fittings will end. No. Yeah, I've done them all, so I'm good. Excuse me, is anyone home? It's open, come on in. She's like, oh god. Is it her dad? Uh, Alisa? Um, it's you, sister. Or is that her grandfather? She's like, oh my god. Hey, it's good to see you again, sir. Well, if it isn't guys, I haven't seen you around for what, half a year now? And little Elisa's here too. Why, I don't think I've seen your face in oh, must be coming up to five years now. Wait, what? Could this be? Could, could, Grandfather, what are you doing here? So it was someone that was related to her, but it wasn't her father, though. Haha, <laughs> well, I guess that's one way to be introduced, but let me give you a proper welcome. If I remember right, he gave up the company to his daughter, which is Elisa's mom. I'm Gwen Rin Ford, Elisa's favorite granddad. Pleasure to meet you all, Class 7. Uh, honor to meet you, sir. I'm Reen Greenschwarzer. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Emma Milstein. Yusuf Abarea, it's an honor to meet you. Ah, a proud some group of young folks, if ever there was. But, if you, but you've sure done a lot of growing up in the last five years, Elisa. You're taller and bigger. <laughs> Look how he hesitated to say that. It's just this old man's heart good to see how easy in the eyes you've become. You're like, wow, really? G grandfather please but forget about me what have you been doing out here all this time back when you disappeared from her I'd never have believed it if someone told me this is where I'd find you do you know have any idea how worried I've been oh come now I send you letters a couple times a year don't I and of course I read all the ones you give to Sharon too S still have you been here for the whole time these past five years just about I don't stay year-round, though. I spend about half the year traveling around the continent, seeing friends and visiting the Empire. I see. Um, Mr. Reinford, would you mind if I asked you how you know so much about our field state? I swear to God, if he also says that he is a director. He does raise an excellent point. It almost seems as though you were expecting us to pay you a visit. Haha, <laughs> well, it's just coincidence the truck broke down when it did. But I admit, ever since Arena told me you were coming to the Highlands, I feared I'd see you at some point. You still talk to Mother? Yes, indeed. 
though just the bare minimum. The girl's zeal for her work borders on unhealthy. <sighs> what did I ever do to turn her into such a workaholic? Melissa? Anyway, we're all done with our coffee, so let's head over to the settlement and have a look at that truck. Just wait outside a bit while I go grab my tools. Oh, actually, I caught a few good-sized trout. Can you take them over to the settlement when you go? Of course. So that's the former chairman of Ramford Group. I knew of him by name, but he's far more light-hearted man than I would have guessed. It, indeed, he seems very easygoing. <sighs> you can say what you really think. You're not going to hurt my feelings or anything. Everyone loves him because he's all laid back and approachable, but mostly it's just comfort and irresponsible. And then, five years ago, he just... Lisa? Mm, never mind. Let's get going. As soon as he's ready, we're heading back to the settlement. Alright. Let's wait for him by the garage. Oh, this nice, beautiful sunset. Oh, it's so pretty. Guys, should we head back to the settlement? Hey, guys, you're on pretty good terms with my grandfather then. Something like that. We've only known him for a couple years, but all of us in the settlement owe him a lot, myself included. Ah! Okay, we're good to go. You mind if I ride with one of you? Grandfather? You aren't driving? Nah, the engine's been acting a bit lately, so I'd rather not. Besides, how could I pass with a chance to get to know my granddaughter's classmates a little better? Green, right? Got room for one more up there? Ah, look at this beautiful scene. <sighs> Why do you have to pick Reen? He, he better not be giving many funny ideas. <laughs> I'm sure that isn't the case. I feel a bit more ease if you focus more on the brains, though. How is Lil Sharon doing these days? I heard she recently started working at your dormitory. That's right. I haven't had too much time to get to know her. But she seems really scared of what she does. Oh, she is. Very much so. But more importantly, she's a real cutie. She's always has this lovely reserved air. But there's a playful side to her too. Oh, I wish she'd sign on as my personal maid. That'd be the life. Oh my god. Y yeah. But the Emma girl is really nice too. She's got those glasses and that hair you want her to let down. And she's class press material to boot. There's a smoldering homeroom hottie if I ever saw one. I think he's trying to gauge who Rain likes out of the group the most. Come on, you know you agree with me. But, well, I can't really say that I disagree with you, but... Um, if you don't mind me asking, why did you never tell Alyssa that you were here? Hmm... Tell me, Rain, what kind of girl do you see her as? Um, well, I say she's a really hard worker in a great many respects. Oh, I have no doubt of it. She's good looking, polite, as well mannered as any noble daughter, intelligent, and that all comes naturally to her. It's not some persona she forces on herself. Yeah, amazed how everything she can make it all seem. And yet, she has a habit of trying to resolve everything without relying on anyone else for support. I'm sure it hasn't escaped the notice of a canny young man like yourself. It does feel like that sometimes, yeah. She's kind and her sense of duty compels her to always see things through. But she always keeps everything bottled up. Like she never wants to let on to anyone that she needs help with a problem. I'm Alyssa R. From Rear. It, it's not like I'm trying to make a big deal of it or anything. It's just, if everyone knew, it'd make things awkward between us, and I don't want that. I have a feeling that the relations between her mother and I caused her to end up that way. 
or to be more suited to the conflict between the two of us. That's why I didn't tell her where I was. But I'll leave it to her to fill in the details about that. I'm sure that once the two of you are a bit closer, she'll tell you on her own. And he's like, um, a bit closer. I, uh, I have a feeling there's a critical mis misunderstanding going on here. Oh, is that so? I thought there was a little something going on between you two after seeing your name come up in one of her letters. Well, we did have that unfortunate accident back at the start of the year, but that's all it was. We eventually got it sorted out and nothing's really happened since. An accident, huh? <laughs> he doesn't believe that for a second. He's like, uh-huh. Did you accidentally collab with her on your way to school, causing her to drop the toast she held between her sweet lips? <laughs> what is wrong with this man? <laughs> oh my god, I love him. Him and Sarah would get along so well. Uh... <laughs> and as the dust cleared, did the two of you find yourself sprawled on the ground in unlikely yet heart racing position? That's. A really only specific question but I don't know what kind of heart racing position you're uh so something really did happen didn't it now just tell Oreen here all about it I want every last juicy detail <laughs> what is wrong with you grandfather please Is someone watching us? What's with this overview? Hey, isn't that? Oh, okay, so someone is watching us, and it's the little girl. What are you doing way out here? Oh, it's those military academy students. I wonder what they're doing all the way out here. Oh well. <laughs> Looks like things are gonna start getting interesting. Oh gosh, she's got hearts in her text box too. Uh. That night, the people of the summit held a banquet at the elder's house for us, Gwyn and Morton. I don't know what we do without you, Queen. Here's to you, my friend. And to you. Come on, Lincoln, this booze isn't gonna drink itself. Yes, yes. He's like another Sarah, I swear. I can still hardly believe it. Finding the famous Gwyn Rainford out in the sticks like this? You know him then? Of course. He seized on the opportunities of the Orbital Revolution to make Rainford the industrial power as it is today. And it's only gotten bigger since his daughter took over. The Renford Company was originally an arms manufacturer, making their name on firearms and such. They underwent a massive expansion of their lineup and started working on orbital weapons and robot projects. I suppose that's what it must have looked like to the nobility, but the company does business all across the continent, and not just domestically. Gwyn has a professionally international outlook for an interbrewing businessman. I see. I knew he was a key man, but I didn't realize he was that famous. The real mystery is why someone would walk away from that in the first place. Some people say he got ill and had no choice but to stand down. But look at him now. He's a picture of health. He's like, yeah, that means it wasn't because of his health that he left. It was for another reason. Maybe he maybe he just got tired of it and wanted to retire and live out his golden years, maybe. So maybe there's some truth to the old room after all. Oh? 
What do you mean? Eh, just something I heard a long time ago. No real proof of it. And we had the Imperial Chronicle aren't in the business of printing baseless speculation. Alyssa? Oof, I think my eyes were bigger than my stomach. I'm going to go out and get a little fresh air, okay? I think she's eavesdropping on our conversation and she doesn't want to hear about her family right now. So she's like, I'm about to leave. I don't want to hear this crap. All right. Alyssa? Reed, Alyssa's going out to get some fresh air. Would you mind going and keeping her company? Not at all. But why me? You're the class president and all. You'd make far better company. No, no, trust me. I think you're definitely the best man for the job. Well, if you say so. Alright. I'll be back in a while. an idiot what am i even doing i can see where her mind's probably going she's like i try to be free and my mother is still in control of everything i thought i lost my grandfather over some family bs only to find him just relaxing it up in in the highlands so she kind of like feels like like what the hell was all this for then is my theory how she's thinking Wow, would you look at that view? Amazing, isn't it, Lisa? Is that her dad? Where's her dad right now? Because the mom mentioned that the dad is like out the picture and I want to know where this man is. It's so pretty. Come on, you two. We need to get going. We're running behind schedule. Now, now, let them have their fun. It's not often you have a day off like this. Why not try and relax for once? Oh. Lisa? What are you doing out here? Did you eat too much? My mouth says no, but my stomach's thinking yes. You doing okay? You seem a bit unsteady there. Nothing like that. I'm just feeling a little out of it. I'm just going to stay out here for a while and get some fresh air. Then I'll be... <laughs> Sorry about that. See? What did I tell you? We've been riding all day. I'm not surprised you're feeling tired. Riding a horse really takes it out of you. I guess you're right. Why didn't that occur to me before? Hey, Elisa. Look up at the sky. Huh? Oh, wow! You know, I didn't even notice it last night because we turned in so early. But now that we know, if you're out here to get some air, better to take in the starlight than look at the ground, right? You're right. Aw, that was a sweet little moment. Look, she's gonna be our wife one day. I already know it. My father was a technician. Eight years ago, he passed away. Oh, that's why we we're not gonna see him. He's dead. No. But the mom was speaking like, like, like he just left out of the blue or something. That's why I thought I was going to see him later in the game, maybe. But he's dead. That sucks. My family was never really the same after that. Mother was director of the company back then. She focused all of her energy on making the Reinford group even. She used to treasure our family, but after that, it's like she could barely spare a thought for us. Oh. She did seem like a talented businesswoman when we met her. Well, more than talented to run the Rhinefoot group. What you saw in Rumor Station was just a watered-down version of her normal intensity. We'd be able to have dinner together maybe once every three months, and that's being generous. But at least I wasn't alone. Grandfather and Sharon were always there for me. That's how it was, huh? I guess you've known Sharon for a long time then. Yeah, my mother hired her about seven years ago. So a year after his death. Being a Reinford and all, I never had many people I could really call friends when I was young. The 
Nobles looked down on me, of course, but the common people treated me like I was different from them, too. Ah, so she was like in between. She's like, I'm not noble blood, but I'm up there with the wealthy. Ah, so both sides just hate her. That must suck. At least with my grandfather and Sharon around, I never felt totally alone. Grandfather introduced me to all kinds of different hobbies, like horseback riding and playing the violin. Sharon taught me self-defense and archery, and all the high society etiquette expected of a lady. Meanwhile, my mother kept expanding the company completely against the wishes of my grandfather, the chairman. I see. Though, hasn't Reinford always been a big industrial company? Kind of, yeah. Even back then, they took on projects in all fields, from steel mills to railway construction to guns and tanks. It's not surprising there are people out there who like to call the company a merchant of death. I can't say I completely agree with that side of the company, but I've never felt embarrassed or ashamed about it. Does it just mean or does she look like Alyssa's like glowing here? A few here? years ago, the Reinford group finally went too far. Uh-oh. What do you mean? Those two railway guns set up in Gorelia Fortress on the eastern edge of the Empire? You know about those, right? Yeah. Oh, her company built those. So people were probably scared out their fucking minds when they built them then. And probably like, uh-uh, like this, this, this is a no-go. This is too far. Like, like, nah, <laughs> nah, we're, we, we're not doing this. They're supposed to have the longest range of any orbital cannon in the world. Yeah, that's pretty scary for anybody to have. I've only seen their spec sheets, but the destruction they're capable of is terrifying. Erebonia's still fighting with Calvert over Crossfell, and those guns are capable of targeting any point in Crossfell State. In just a couple hours, they could wipe Crossfell City and its 500,000 citizens off the map. No way. That's way beyond being a weapon of war. More like an instrument of massacre. Yeah, pretty much. I couldn't agree more. And neither could my grandfather, who supervised their construction. Even though my mother was the one who signed off on the project, my grandfather regretted it like the decision was his. As he was hesitating over whether to hand them over to the Imperial Army, my mother betrayed him. What? She went behind his back and secured the support of all of Reinford's major shareholders. Ooh, dang, that is a straight up backstab. It's like, ah, like, I don't care what you say. I am now, I am now in charge. Even though your name is still says you're in charge, I'm in charge now. That's pretty much what his, her mom said. Everyone from Ruwer's ruling Lord Marquis Rogner to the top brass of the Imperial Army was on her side. In the face of such overwhelming pressure from all sides, my grandfather was forced to capitulate. He stepped down as chairman and my mother wasted no time taking his place. <sighs> That's when my grandfather decided to leave the company entirely. And me. I thought I'd at least have Sharon on my side, but she just did whatever my mother told her to do. It's been five years since then already. Oh. I think I get it now. Why she gets under your skin, I mean. It's not so much what your mother did, but how it ended up tearing your family apart. Yeah. I couldn't believe my mother would betray her own father. I couldn't believe grandfather would take it without fighting back. I couldn't believe Sharon, who'd always supported me, watched it all happen without a word of protest. It really drove it home to me. How big the Reinford group was now. And how small I was. I hated realizing it had become so large that corporate interests were stronger than family ties. Looking back, I guess that's when I decided I'd leave home and enroll in the academy. <laughs> Even when I ran, I couldn't go far enough to escape my mother's shadow. Or the Reinford name. Then I come here and find my grandfather happily enjoying a whole new life without a care in the world. When I stepped outside, I was feeling so lost, so frustrated, wondering what I'd been doing all this time. But it's kind of strange, you know? 
I look up at the stars and it feels like I can escape the gravity of everything. I think I'm finally starting to understand why my grandfather chose to leave it all behind and move out here in the first place. <laughs> you really are strong, Elisa. Stronger than you realize. You were finally ready to talk about it. About your family and the company and everything. So maybe you've found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> maybe you're right. I am loving this moment right now. I don't now. think I would have been able to if I hadn't enrolled at the academy. Meeting everyone in class seven, the lacrosse club, you, I'm a better person for it. Your support has already made a difference. So, thanks. I'm really wondering if one day she will take over the company or not. Right now, she really seems to not want to, especially after that story she just shared. But I'm wondering, I guess we'll see what will happen in the future. Thanks for worrying about and thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. <laughs> Anytime. Though, truth be told, I came to check on you because Emma asked me to. Sorry to ruin the moment. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Oh well, there's always next time. It's kind of strange to hear you tell me I'm strong. Because I could say the same thing about you. You always seem to get thrust into the role of leader. Someone we can count on to keep us on track. <laughs> I guess running errands on all my free days is really helping me buckle down. Still, I feel like I've got a long way to go. Especially when I keep running from myself. Huh? Remember back in Keldic? I said that I came to the Academy to find myself. But sometimes... I wonder if maybe I just wanted to get away from my family, from myself. Oh. Do you? <laughs> She's like, oh. not get along. Well He's with your sensitive. Family? Oh, I do. I'm not their real son, but my parents always loved me like I was. My sister and I, we've had our differences, especially lately, but we still get along pretty well. No, the problem's just with me. Rain. <laughs> Still, I suppose the fact you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd have the chance to feed you your own good advice so soon? I can't believe you can just say things like that with a straight face. Maybe being on the receiving end every now and then will do you some good. <laughs> All right, you got me. I admit defeat. But yeah, I guess I'm starting to figure things out in my own way. Maybe enrolling at Thoris was the first thing I'd done right in a long time. I ended up in class seven, and now all of us are out here like this, spending time together. Yeah, I like that. I hope the things we learn during our field studies can help us all make a difference in the world. So, wait, all of us? <clears throat> <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> you two were gone so long that we started to get a little worried. N no way! How long have you been listening? Still, I suppose the fact that you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? Oh my god. Oh, Elisa, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Honestly, you touched my heart. I apologize for eavesdropping on you. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad I did. How did I end up in the middle of this anyway? Fine, if that's how you want to play it, none of you are getting any sleep until you've shared all your most embarrassing secrets. What? I, I don't... <laughs> you wish. Seems like you did well. Honestly, I feel like she helped me more than I helped her. Hey. Hmm? This is a really beautiful place. Yeah, ain't it?
Alyssa can now use F-Craft Rosetta Arrow. And with that, we would have to end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And those little moments, oh, they were so precious. They got closer. I loved it. And we'll see what happens next in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video and this series, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Bye. See you next time.